Hi, everybody. I'm Regina Sellers with Probo the Hand. This little video is about how to make my no sew bunny ears. You can go to my website, probothehand.com. The patterns are free. You can print the little pattern and then you can come back and watch the free video on how to make our no sew bunny ears. I sure hope you'll enjoy this. Thanks so much. So let's begin making our bunny ear. Um, this is optional. Uh, this fabric is it's kind of, it's messy, okay? Uh, but I just wanted to let you know that a lint roller, just all the little pieces that kind of fly around, y'all, the lint roller just works perfectly. Just zoom, zoom, zoom. And you can pick up all the little, the little fuzzy pieces with the lint roller. I use it every time. So, but th so that's an optional thing for you, okay? Lint roller. Okay, you will need to buy a pack of the white covered wire. I got this at Hobby Lobby. If you want to do the ear and the foot, well, of course, one pack will do, but you'll need this white wire. It's very important. Okay, the white wire. Okay, believe it or not, can't wait to show you, you'll need some scotch tape. We're going to use scotch tape in, in uh, making our little uh, no-so ear, and uh, you're just going to love it. Okay, uh, we're going to need our hot glue gun. Y'all, for this project, because it's so small, uh, I've never owned one of these before, but I bought one of the smaller ones, and I, it's just perfect. Uh, I just loved it. It does have an, a much smaller little opening there. Less glue comes out, and it's just perfect. And here you can see that the, the little, if you've never used this before, the little uh, sticks are much, they're half the size of the uh, other bigger ones. So you might consider doing that. Okay, I bought this just for this for this little project. So let's get our little high glue gun out the way because it is plugged in and it's ready to go. Okay, you're going to need a, of course, you're going to need a good pair of scissors, really good, you know, good pair of cutting scissors. You want to make sure that they cut, they cut real well. Um, then you're going to want to go to my website, probothehand.com, and you're going to want to print the pattern okay y'all the pattern is free um and i and i hope you'll enjoy making this little no so um bunny ears okay what you're going to cut out it you, you see it says it on here it says cut two of felt this is the felt that i used y'all i've i've tried this all kind of different ways i've used different things I, i'm the happiest with this i paid 79 cents for it it's the premium it's the little premium sheet of felt that and you can see what it looks like um and i got it at hobby lobby this this but yeah i bought two i bought two sheets that's what you you don't quite get everything you need out of one sheet so i bought two sheets of it y'all today it was half price okay 79 cents and um that is what this is what i used to cut the felt uh you're gonna cut you know for two ears you're gonna cut two felts and you're gonna cut four of this little piece this little piece of the pattern can't wait to show you what we do with this you're gonna cut four of this out of the felt Okay, so there's your pattern and cut your little pattern out. Okay, um, let's get that out the way. Here is your little inner ear. This is the little inner ear part of, um, of your little, of your little bunny ear. I've done this all kind of ways. Here you can, you've see, you can see this one I glittered it. I used, uh, y'all and I always, use this foam. This is the little foam board that I get at Hobby uh, Lobby. It's called the Silly Winks. It works perfectly. It's 99 cents. Um, so this is what I use, uh, and I've used this every time for the little inner ear port. And whenever we get to that, you'll understand, because you need to, you need some a little bit of bulk there okay and this just works perfectly for this little ear because i wanted it so light i wanted it a really light pink i used i cut my little inner ear out and you can see how glittered it is i mean i want this this was for my bling bunny i really blinged one up 
so what I did was I cut out my little inner ear out of this color. I couldn't get I couldn't get the exact color I wanted, so I, of course I made it do what I wanted it to do. I used um, a Mod Podge, and I just with a, a little foam brush, my little inner. Let me let me show you on this piece. Okay, so let's play like this was the piece I had. I used Mod Podge with a little foam brush, and I just covered this well. This is the uh, glitter that I used. It's the extra fine glitter. It's kind of like stardust. And on my Mod Podge, I mean, I just covered it. I mean, I well, y'all can see just how much I put. I totally, I put so much that you, I totally changed the color. And this was really the color I wanted. So believe it or not, well, it was this, it was this, it was this one. Um, this is the color that I had. And then, but this is once I glittered it, this is the color that it, it became once I glittered it. Okay. And this was exactly what I wanted. Okay. So Mod Podge, glitter, and then I let this dry overnight. And then I came back and I sprayed it on just a nice little spray to seal it, to keep, you know, to keep my glitter from uh, coming off. So if you want to make a little, uh, a really bling bunny, um, this is, this is how I, this is the products that I use to do that. Okay. That's not the one that we're going to be doing today, but I did want to show you the products that I used to make it. And this is the, um, this is the, the, the rhinestones. This is how it looks. This is the little pack. Again, I got this from Hobby Lobby and what you, what you did, cause it's three rows. So I just measured, I rolled it out. I measured out how long I needed the piece. And then I just cut it three rows. Y'all, it cuts like a dream, cuts like butter. And then I cut another three rows for this size and then you hot glue it on and that's, and that's it. So if you want to make a bling bunny, that's what I wanted to kind of tell, just giving you options. And so I kind of wanted to tell y'all, you know, what I did, how I did it. Okay. For just different options of how to make little ears. So that was that ear. Okay. So let's get that out the way. Uh, let's get this out of the way. I just wanted to show y'all that. Okay. Um, let's see. I made another bunny and I just used fabric. I used, I used fabric in it with a Rick Wack. I wanted it really, this was just a really sweet, sweet little bunny. And I wanted just the fabric and just the Rick Wack. And this is the fabric that I used, got it from Hobby Lobby. Y'all, a fourth of a yard uh, will do the trick. Uh, just the one thing that I might remind you of, y'all, this has this has a nap to it. I don't know for the people who sew, you know, y'all y'all will understand what the word nap is. So you see how I push it this way and you see how it looks? So this is the, okay, now you see, you see how it, so this would, you want the nap. Whenever you put your pattern on it, you just want to make sure that you cut your little pattern, you know, your little pattern with the nap going down. Okay, as you can see, see how the little, the nap is going down? Just some little extra information that I'm giving you. So if you want to do it, you know, make one with just the fabric. Like I said, I got this at Hobby Lobby. In the supply list, it has the name to it. And I used um, the tacky glue. I used tacky glue on my little foam board. Doesn't matter what color you use because you're covering it with fabric. Let's see, I thought I had one done here, uh, about half done. Uh, don't see it here. I guess I forgot to put it on the table. But anyway, doesn't matter what color little foam board you use uh, because the, the fabric covers it perfectly. Just your little foam board and your, with your little foam brush, just get a nice little coat of the tacky glue, lay your fabric on it, let it dry, just push it down real good, let it dry. Cut, cut your fabric just a little bit bigger. I'll let that dry overnight and then I would trim it out and just trim it out and then you'll have your perfect little size piece. Okay. To, to be able to then trim out. So anyway, that's how, that's how I did that ear. And this fabric will be named in this, in the supply list. So I'll give you the name of that. Okay. So that's for that. Um, let's see today's little bunny. So I think, let's see, did I go, um, did I tell you all the pieces? Now, now I've got to talking about all of that. I'm not sure that I told you that. Oh, I, I think I did. Yes. Okay. Yes. Cut two of this out of the felt, cut four of this out of the felt, um, cut two, cut four for two ears. You're going to cut 
Two are your little felt piece, okay? That's that's your little inside, the very in, inside part, are your little ear. That's that. And then this piece of your pattern, like I said, y'all, you can go to my website, print all this out, the pattern's free. And um, so you're gonna cut two of this. And this is, this is how you cut this out of the curly fleece. And this is the back part of the ear and the wraparound part. So you, whenever you look at the bunny and you see that edging around the ear, this is the back and the wraparound. And I'm gonna show you how I do that in just a second. And so you'll cut two of those and you cut that out of the curly fleece. And again, I get that at Hobby Lobby. Get the fabric at Hobby Lobby. Okay, for today's project, I am going to use um, the little foam piece just as it is. For the bunny that I, that I made today, y'all have made so many of these little bunnies. The bunny that I made today, this pink matched my ribbon perfectly so i just so lucky me all i had to do was cut it out okay so there you go so then just that's just showing you some different options and different ways that you can make the little ear y'all it's just incredibly easy um but anyway so this today we're going to be using this and i'm going to trim it with a little rick rack i'm going to show you how to do that because i had the rick rack in my ribbon so that's the reason why. And once you saw the picture of the, the whole bunny finished, you'll see this is the exact pink. It, it does bling it up a little bit, which of course I like. And then the Rick Rack, I use the Rick Rack on this because of the Rick Rack ribbon, that green Rick Rack ribbon. So that's the reason why I chose all of that. So anyway, so there you go. Uh, it's the Silly Winks and it works perfect. Okay, get it at Hobby Lobby. So let's get that out of the way. There it is. There's the curly fleece. Y'all, the only the, the only amount of the curly fleece, fleece that you need to do an ear is uh, you just need two pieces this big. So one, you know, two. You don't need a very big piece um, for that. So there's that. I've, uh, for time purposes, okay, as... Y'all, the reason why I'm doing this on this green, this is green fabric, and you can, you can see how I'm, I'm gonna clean up a, a, every now and then, is because we made, we filmed this already, and I did it on my white table, and I just wasn't happy with the view you had. I thought that, I mean, I'm making a white ear, and it was like, oh well, okay, can, can y'all even see what I'm doing? And so we re we're refilming this the second time we filmed this and we put this green so that the white ear, you know, it was white on white and I just didn't think you could see well enough. So here we go. Um, we're gonna put that here, that's our back. But what we're gonna do first is we're gonna prepare our little, um, the the base this is the base of your ear okay and i can't wait to sh can't show you what we do with this but anyway here we go here's the base of our little ear it's cut out of felt and now i'm gonna we're gonna use the white wire okay the reason why uh i'm using this two reasons for one thing it's making a wired ear and it's going to make it wired and then you can, um, you know, position your little ear in any way you want. See how I'm running my finger on there? I'm looking at that and I'm trying to just kind of get the little bit. And you can see how little that takes. I'm just running my finger along it. And I'm going to sit this down here. I want this to go all the way to the tip. The thing that's important right here is that you don't put this any wider than this little piece. I put it as close, you know, I kind of put it close to the edge, but you don't want to put it any wider, any further out from the edge than the width of this little piece, okay? And so you see how I'm just laying this on here? And now watch what I'm gonna do. Y'all gonna love this. It doesn't matter, y'all, you can tape it in place. Just put a little piece of scotch tape. This is gonna, this is, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it like that. I normally tape, kind of tape it to the table, but I don't want to tape it to the fabric. So that's gonna work. That's perfect. And then you, okay, so that's gonna be like that. And then whenever we get down to here, I want my two, my two pieces of wire to come together. This wire serves, like I said, two, two things. It is, uh, wiring the ear. And then we're gonna leave a length of this. And then this is what we wrap around the whole 
um, head of the bunny, and that's how you attach it, okay? So, let's, let's see. I'm gonna hold this down with just the tip of my scissors, just the tip of my scissors. I'm gonna hold it down until I get to it. Hold it down, stay down, okay, behave. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come with my hot glue and I'm gonna put, I'm just gonna put hot glue on the top of this wire. Okay, get it right to the edge. You can put, a, you can kind of put a lot here. Don't, you don't have to be skimpy at all with your, with your hot glue. And my, my wire is not exactly in place. Um, that doesn't matter. Okay, you can see it's not exactly in the, in the same position all over. That doesn't matter. It's not gonna make any difference at all. Okay, you don't have to be exactly perfect with that. What you wanna do now is sit this on top, right to the edge, and you're gonna use this. Let's get the scissors out of the way and look at that. You're gonna use this and now you can tap this all down you can just tap everything down. No worries about uh, getting hot glue on you, about burning yourself. And now your wire is in there, it's in your ear. And um, here I got a little bit coming out right here. Let me get that off, okay? Nice little edge, all glued together. And y'all, the wire is inside of our bunny ear. Don't you love that? Look how easy that is. Y'all, this is just incredibly easy to do. Y'all, I'm gonna cut some of this off. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna cut about this much. That's about how much I need to uh, for a really good wrap around to attach the ear to the head. Okay, let's do the other side. You can kind of stick this piece. Let's curl a little bit. Let's just give it a little curl to it. See how I'm doing it? Just. Just not a whole lot. You can see that did not take a whole lot. And I'm just gonna kind of stick it under there. Just gonna let that hold it. If I can, if, if my hot glue didn't stick too much, well, I think it did already. Well, let's see if it'll kind of stick. Okay, just stay right there. Okay, please stay right there, okay? You have to talk to it, okay? Ask it to please stay where you want it to. Maybe it'll do it. <laughs> Gotta talk to your project, y'all. You gotta talk to your hot glue, okay? Okay. Here you go. Let's kind of stick that there. Let's see if it'll hold. I think it might. Let's let's see. Let's see. No, I think it's gonna uh, it's gonna hold pretty good. And I'm gonna take my little piece of tape and I'm gonna put one my little piece of tape to hold my wire in place. Did it go down? Yeah, it did. There it is. And I'm going to hold this right here. I think that's good. That's going to hold. That's going to hold just perfect. And we're going to just cover this with hot glue. And we're going to get some all the way out to the edge. I want to make sure we get that edge really hot glued down. Okay. You just want to make sure you don't put any glue wider. I'm getting close there wider than your little piece of felt okay and you can see I'm, I'm i'm not being stingy with the hot glue here okay let's take this little piece make your point follow the outside edge y'all be careful don't make sure you don't you got to kind of keep your hand up in the air um make sure you don't set your uh hand down in into that hot glue because man will it burn you okay and just kind of line that up and y'all there we are this is the inner part of your little ear um all hot glued together okay really hot glued let's tap it down really want this to stick okay that's good like that doesn't, y'all, it doesn't have to be, this does not have to be just perfect, okay? You can see I kind of overlap. See, I'm just gonna take my thumb and just kind of, there, I kind of pushed that together and I took my thumb and kind of made those kind of join. And there, look at that, just perfect. That's the inner part of your little 
bunny ear. And this is long enough. There we go. Now, I'm going to take, because I want the outside, this outside edge, I'm just going to run just a little bit of high glue right under here because I want this outside edge to stay down really well also. Okay, just run your finger along there. And if a little bit comes out, it doesn't matter because it's going to be covered up anyway. But you want all the way to that edge. You see how I'm just running my finger along there? That's catching it. Okay. And I'm not, I'm not pushing this very hard. I'm, I'm not putting a whole lot, but it's, it's, it's getting it right to the edge. Then take your finger and you see, you can, you can see just a little bit came out. That's fine. It's going to be covered up anyway. Don't worry about it. Now it's finished. The little, the little bunny, the uh, base of the bunny ear is finished. Next step. This is the curly fleece. We're going to take it. And we're going to set our little bunny ear right in the center. And we're going to make sure you're going to, you're going to eyeball this and you're going to make sure all the edges is all the same all the way around. See how all my edges is the, are the same. Okay. That's what we want. Okay. Next step hot glue y'all all of this is hot glued together we're going to pull this out i want my little wires to come out i want my wires to come out that way and i want them to come out this way that's fine okay next step you kind of turn it i kind of work sideways y'all you know what i see that little piece right there i'm gonna, I'm gonna trim that i'm gonna trim that off right there Okay, I want to do it as neat as possible. Yeah, I'm liking how that looks. Let's sit this on here. Okay, let's hot glue. Okay, this is where you're going to apply your glue. You're going to apply your glue, just a little stream of hot glue right along this edge. Y'all, this is the reason why I bought this small hot glue gun because I don't want a whole lot of hot glue coming out here. Y'all, this fabric is porous. And what'll happen is your hot glue, you don't want your hot glue going through it, through it. And you see y'all, this just fits. And you see like right here, you kind of want to work fast right, right here at this point. I'm gonna use the edge of my scissors. You see how I'm pulling that in? I'm pulling that edge. And what you want to happen, you want just the edge to catch that, that hot glue. And you see how you have that wrinkle? Doesn't matter. This is very forgiving. Doesn't matter if you have a wrinkle at all. Does not matter in the least. Okay, I'm gonna have to put, I think that dried a little bit on me and put a little bit more right here. It's talking too much. At this point, y'all, you kind of work fast because you want that to lay down and you want just the edge, just the very edge of your fabric catching in the hot glue because you don't, you want all the, your little fluffies to stay sticking up. If you had put just a lot of hot glue under there and then pressed it down, what would happen, the hot glue would come through your fabric and then all your little, your little fluffy, your little loops and everything would be caught in the hot glue. It would make just like a knot, uh, just a, a bunch, uh, a bunched up kind of a mess. And so that's the reason why, and you can just use your scissors, just the edge of your scissors, and you can see how you can see how easy that was. There's all kind of little gathers in there. It doesn't matter at all. You just need to get it turned over and just hot glue on the edge because we're going to put hot glue on that edge again anyway. Okay. And so there it is. All your little fluffy still sticking up. Isn't that great? Isn't that easy, y'all? Easy peasy. Okay. Let's get this pulled tight. We want it, want it tight. We want it tight across the back. Make sure that I don't have any wrinkles from under there. I can pull it from here. Okay. Let's put another little line of hot glue right on the edge. Oh, 
Well, I got a pretty steady hand today. I didn't have any coffee, y'all. My hand is real, look how steady my hand is. <laughs> I didn't have any afternoon coffee. Okay, pull the edge over and hit it right. You see how that edge, I mean, it falls right on that little line. If they, okay, you can see, I think you can see it. You see that little, there's a, a gather, it's perfectly fine. Just push it down, let it gather up. It doesn't make any difference at all. And you're pushing this little piece over. See how I'm gonna kind of pull it with my scissors and get it right over there to that edge. And just getting that caught, the edge. You want edge to edge. I guess you could say it that way. I want edge to edge, the edge of the fabric to the edge of that little, that little rim there. And you see how I'm just pushing it down with the tip of my scissors? You don't want to take it and just push it down because you don't, you see, I'm just pushing, I'm pushing down with the end of my scissors, but you see how, the, see how my little fluffies are still up? Okay, that's, that's the reason why you do that. You wouldn't just take it and mash it down because you'll get your little fluffy parts stuck, okay? And you don't want them to get stuck down. You want all the little fluffy parts to stay up. This kind of got... Kind of dried on me a little bit. You can come back. You can add a little bit more, a little bit more hot glue. If you took a little bit too too long, you can do this. You can you can kind of turn over your pieces, you know, little bits as you go. That's probably what I should have done. I usually do it that way. Okay, and just get the edge put pushed down into the glue. But at the same, you see, I'm just pushing the fabric down, but it's, and you'll catch a few of these, you know, that's the edge. And so you got some, a few loose ones. That's okay. But you see what you're going to do? You see how you, I mean, we're going to push at this point, you want to push them back. And you can see just the edge of that fabric is pushed down and caught into that hot glue. Okay. And now let's do the top and you see all these little, all these little things. If that bothers you, look at this. It just picks them right up. Okay, your little roller. I just wanted to show you just how, um, if you if it bothers you to have a messy uh, craft room, I want you to see just how, how how wonderful that worked. This works to just pick up your little your little uh, your little fuzzies. Okay, let's do the top. And I'll leave that for last. And what I'm gonna do, y'all, this is really simple. You see the point? This is the point of my piece of fabric. I'm gonna open this up. I'm gonna open this up right here, and I'm going to put down just a little drop of hot glue right there. Okay? Just a little bit of hot glue right there, and I'm going to fold over the point. And you see how it hits? just the point keep your little fuzzies up and just press down the tip of the fabric but keep your little fuzzies up keep them worked up you don't want them to get caught in the hot glue because that the hot glue like i said this fabric is really thin and the glue will come through okay but you, you see all your little fuzzies that's what you want you want all your little fuzzies to be up so there we've got that little piece down see Okay, now, what you have now, you have, I think y'all gonna be able to see it. You see how that made like a little pleat? You see, oh, that, good, you see how, you see how open that is? You see that pleat? Okay, what you wanna do is just take this part and push it on, push it in and just let it go in and then we're gonna take this part and then just hot glue it down. Don't cut anything, just fold it. That's gonna give you a lot. That's, uh, this is actually, because we're not cutting anything off here, this is gonna give us a lot, a little, a little fluffies here, right at the top. But you see how I just pushed that under? I pushed it under, and I'm just gonna put a little hot glue in this space. But I'm gonna push, this, push back as many as my little fluffies as, poss as possible. Let's hot glue it down. Just a little. This doesn't take a whole lot here. You just don't want to glob this up with hot glue. And I'm going to tap it down just with the end of my scissors. 
okay? And it caught. Y'all, once this touches hot glue, man, it catches and it works, believe me. Look at that, see? Perfect. Perfect. Let's do the other side. Let's see. Let's see. Which way do I wanna go at it? Okay, you see how there's that, there's that little fold. There's the fold that's open. See how you can see it? Okay. Here, let, let me just cut that little piece off right there. Okay. Again, what you want to do, because you want to fold in and then go up. Just like I did on this side, I folded in and I came up. So I'm going to push this down and I'm see how there's the edge and I'm going to bring it forward. So I'm folding in and then going over. I hope y'all can see that well. So this is going down and then I'm just folding the little piece over. Okay, I'm gonna push, push back my little fluffies and I'm gonna put just a little bit of hot glue right in that little spot. See how it took just that little bit? And I'm just using the edge of my scissors to catch, I just want the edge to catch right in the hot glue. But you see how all your little fluffies are still here? See? Now some of those are gonna come off because, because I've cut the fabric. You know, the fabric's cut, so you know, all the little fluffies that are all right on the edge, they're gonna come off, that's perfectly fine. Okay, so. I'm going to pull my scissors away and look at that. It's just perfect. Y'all, that's all there is to it. There's the top of your little, the top of your little ear. There's your back. And y'all, that's all there is to it. Wonderful. Got that? Good. Let's get, let's keep our little space really neat here. I can keep showing y'all just how wonderful this works. Like I said, we did this on this green fabric because like I said, we, we, we filmed this once already and then we did it on the white table and, and I just didn't think you could see well enough. The little ear just disappeared into the table and I didn't think you could see well enough. So this is the second time we're doing this. <laughs> okay, I can see right here that I have a little bitty pleat that kind of just see it right there. It was kind of a big pleat. It didn't catch in the fabric, I mean into the glue. So quick fix, just a little bit right there and push it down, push it down the tip of your scissors. Y'all, I tell you what I, what I really love using. I don't know where I put it. I'm looking across my table. Table, Y'all, I have an X-Acto knife and I use the back of the blade. That's what I usually use for this, but I'm looking around on my table and I don't see it. Uh, I thought it was on the table. But anyway, y'all, that's it. And now, so now the next thing you wanna do is we wanna just take our little curlies and push them back out of the way. You see how everything is really well glued down. And so now you'll understand because we're, I mean, we're developing some, some depth there. Okay, we got, we have this piece of, uh, we have this piece of felt and then we overlaid it with a piece of felt and now we have our fabric. That's the reason why I used a little foam because you see it's thick and we need, we need a little thickness here. We need something with a little substance uh, to it to, um, to use for the inner part. We're gonna push this out of the way and y'all here we come with the hot glue again. We're gonna just put, let's get this out of the way. right on the edge. I'm gonna try to move along fast here. Right on the edge. I'm gonna try to do the whole thing. I'm gonna be real brave here. I'm gonna try to do the whole thing at once. Kinda, of, kinda of do it fast, cause you don't want your hot glue to dry on you. Put your little top right into the point. There it is reaching right into the 
into the bottom, lay it on top, make sure you center it, tap it down, and there is there is your little center applied. And look at that. Here's all your little fuzzies sticking up. And that's all it takes. You can kind of take your scissors and kind of go around, tap it down. Make sure it gets really caught into the glue. You see, look at all your little fuzzies. See all your little fuzzies all in place? There's a few of them that'll still come out. Like I said, that's that's the edge. That's the edge that we cut. So there's some loose ones there. And at this point, you're kind of finding all of them that are, that are loose. That's fine. Just kind of let this dry for a minute. And y'all, there's your center. There is your center. And it's perfect. There it is. So how's that? And here's all your pretty little fuzzies. Okay. And like I said, for, for a little, just a little bit, you're because that was a salvage edge, that was the cut edge, you're going to have some, lo the, the little loose, little uh, fuzzies. And you can see, I haven't pulled on them. I kind of just let them come loose as they come loose. Okay. I, I never pulled on them. I never tried to find loose ones. I kind of just let, as I'm working, whatever comes loose, I just let them come loose when, as they, as, as they are and as they feel like it. But okay, this little piece is is dry enough. That's dry, everything's in place. I'm gonna kind of push it back again. I just wanted you to see that, you know, you can see all your little fluffies were there. Okay, now we're going to apply the Rick Rack Edge. And what I used is uh, the tacky glue. Okay, and I want you to see this. I want you to. I want you to see that how. Uh, whenever I applied, whenever I applied this little this little um, ornament, the uh, the little rhinestones, y'all, I hot glued this because it's solid. It's a solid little piece, and I knew just how much hot glue I could get up under there. I didn't want any hot glue, you know, coming out onto my little ear or going off. And so I could put out just a small little rim, and it and it worked. So this worked for hot glue. With the Rick Rack, because I don't want the hot glue, I mean, you're, you're just going, you're trying, it's that tiny little line in between, okay? So I don't want to use the hot glue. I tried this. I tried this using hot glue and I just did not like how it came out. Okay. Cause you can kind of see the hot glue, but I want, what I want you to notice, I made this little ear and it's almost impossible to do this and not get some glue either come out like a little bit in or a little bit out. But I want you to notice just how clear it dries. It dries completely, totally clear. You know, try to be as careful as you possibly can, but I wanted you to just see that it dries totally clear. And so I think you will have success if you use this glue at this stage to get the Rick Rack on, okay? And what I did was, here's my little piece of paper. I just put out a little bit. I don't use it through the tube because it, it puts out too much, okay? And every time I do this, I kind of put, okay, that's plenty. That's plenty, plenty, plenty. Every time I do it, I, I, I use too much, but it, it's just, it's very inexpensive, so I don't worry about it. Okay, with a little bitty paintbrush, I am going to now just brush this on. See how careful I'm trying to be? Okay. And just getting a nice little rim of, and if you let this dry, you have to let it dry for a while. Don't, you have to let it stick, you know. I let it dry for quite a few hours. And uh, it says it tacks down really fast, but I found for this, I, I let I let this dry a couple of hours and it, man, it was, it was like cement. I mean, it was really stuck in place. So I'm very happy. Like I said, I've used it over and over. I've tried it for quite a few different things and I, I, I feel, um, I really like it uh, for this little application. And you can see how, you can tell how much I'm putting with this tiny little paintbrush. 
okay? Okay, and I'm gonna do one side at a time, y'all. Okay, so there we go. Oops, using the end of my scissors. I wish I could find my X-Acto knife. I have no idea where it is. It should be on the table, but I don't see it. And see how I'm just tapping that down? I'm just tapping it. Now, you can push you can push your rickrack all the way to the edge and push the edge of your rickrack into your little fuzzies. Or you see how I'm leave, leaving that little that little pink edge show? You can do just whatever you want to do, however you want to do it. I'm going to let my little pink edge show. On this one, I've done it both ways. But my ribbon and my bunny is this exact color pink. So I want as much pink to show as possible. You see, I can, I got some little fuzzies there that I can pull out the way. Press it down, press it down on there. And y'all after, it says that it tacks up really fast. It takes, it takes a bit, okay? It takes just a little bit of time. It's not instant, believe me. But I just want you to know, like I said, I showed you the other piece and I'm just gonna cut this off. Y'all, I've tried turning it, but it, it just, it's too hard and it, it doesn't look any better whether I cut it or try to turn it, try to just turn my piece of rickrack. And uh, I just don't think it's noticeable. So I just, I just go ahead and cut it. So there you go. See how I'm just taking the edge with my scissors. Like I said, I usually use the back side of an X-Acto knife to do this in these tight little, little tight little places little, whenever we're making small little things. And there you are, there's your rickrack. Okay, let's do this side. Y'all, what I do is, uh, cause I'm, I try to be nifty and thrifty and all that kind of stuff. Whenever I'm done, I will take this with my paintbrush and I, what my leftover that's right here, I'll, I'll, um, I'll dip it back into my bottle. I, I don't throw this, I don't throw my extra away every time. Like I said, if you wanna be a little thrifty, there's no point in throwing it away. I've done it many, many, many times and it, it doesn't mess it up. It's still good. At first I was afraid to do it because it says, well, it tacks so fast and it dries so fast. In that big glob like that, you can pick up your little extra and get it into your bottle. And I, and I just use the end of the, the little paintbrush to do it. Now, what I usually do is I don't, another thing I don't have on the table, I usually keep a wet paper towel because you see right now I'm getting a little bit of, I've got a little thread caught. Here we go, we'll, we'll do it this way. But I usually keep a wet paper towel I didn't put one on the table because I have this, I'm working on this fabric, but I normally have a wet paper towel sitting here. You can kind of see how that's getting caught in that fabric. I'm kind of pulling a little piece of fabric along. Let me see if I can get it off. There, I think that's better. There, that's better. But you see how easy that is? Get you a little, get, get you some right on the end because we're gonna end we're gonna end our, our uh, rickrack right there. Okay. And now we're just gonna take the end of the scissors, gonna hold it in place and just lay it in place. Come on, turn for me good now. Don't give me a hard time. Let that kind of catch. Kind of get it in place and then you can go back and kind of move it around a little bit like see because you see that's moving on me right there it'll it'll hold in just a second it'll hold, just kind of kind of get everything down and then i'm gonna come back with my scissors again and just press it down but i wanted y'all to see y'all this dries clear i promise you it does if you can see any of the glue along here uh tomorrow or in a couple hours, whenever I pick this up and I wanna use it and I wanna finish my little bunny, this is gonna be clear and you won't see it. You won't see any glue. Come on, that's not wanting to turn. Come on, turn and stick. 
there it will in, it will in a second come on behave yourself stick down cooperate with me there we are and that's it and our rick rack is on our ear y'all just incredibly easy you just have to do you know it's just delicate just take your time just you know just take your time move your little pieces around as you need to this is going to just dry in a minute and this is going to tack down what i might do since it's wanting to move on me i might just take another i'm just going to take just a little bit of glue and stick under there a little bit more just a little spot that's kind of wanting to give me a hard time okay that's it now now you can come and take all your little fuzzies and let all your little fuzzies stand up around your little ear see that Look at that. Is that cute? Let's get this out of the way. And there's your little ear. How about that? I just love doing this. I just love making these bunnies. Okay, we got a little bottom to finish here. What I want you to do is, what I would normally do is I would let this tack up and sit and sit a little bit. But since I'm, you know, doing the doing the video, I'm just going to I'm going to go ahead and try to be really careful and not move that. What you're going to do is you're going to slice this right up the side. Right at the side of the wire. Just slice it right up the side. And you're going to cut this little piece off cuz it's just not needed. It's not needed right here, okay? And of course, we're gonna use our trusty hot glue and we're gonna glue this over. We're gonna take our little pieces of wire because we want them to stick out, okay? And all we're doing is closing up the bottom of the little ear, okay? And what I do is I put just a thin, thin little line, a thin, thin little line of hot glue and fold it over, fold it over on itself. Come on, fold over, fold over, come on. And just kind of tap that down and let it grab. Let it grab itself. See how it's just there. Just tap it down. At this point, you don't have to worry. You don't have to worry about what if you're catching the little, well, you kind of want to keep these out as much as possible. You don't want to make a big glob of hot glue at, at, at any point on, on the little ear. So you can just kind of be careful. Let's let that grab, let's let that dry just a moment. I'm going to take these little pieces, these little curlies, and I'm going to pull them up. I'm going to pull them up. See that right there? I'm gonna pull that down right there. I'm gonna pull these up. And now I'm gonna take, let me put, I think, cause I'm a, I think I'm gonna run out of high glue there. Let me put another little stick in. Okay. I'm gonna put a line from one end to the other, just a one thin little line. Okay, from one end to the other. And what you're gonna do is just fold this over. You're gonna fold this over into the glue. And again, just using the edge of your scissors, keeping your little fuzzies up, but just with the edge of your scissors, pushing the fabric, the, you know, the back of this into your hot glue. And that's, y'all, that's all it is. That's all there is to it. And you see how that just, it just flipped over and you see all my loose little fuzzies. 
you want you don't want to glob that with glue and you want to push it over with the edge of your scissors or like i said my favorite thing to use is is the back of the back of my uh, um um exacto knife and you see i'm pushing that down but do you see because i'm going through my little fuzzies i'm going through them i'm not mashing them down so you see the back the back of the fabric caught in the glue, but the fuzzies didn't. And there you go. And y'all, that's it. Our little bunny ear is finished. Is that just the cutest thing? And is that easy? It's just as easy as it can be. I'm handling it very gently because I'm gonna give this some time to dry. But that's it, guys. And then, um, you know, you'll open this and then you will attach this like this. You're gonna use this wire to attach it. You're gonna wrap this around the top of your bunny. And y'all, this piece of wire just completely dies into the fuzz. Your little curlies and you can't see it at all. And you just wrap it around to the back. And there is your little ear and that's how you make it. And that's all there is to it. Okay, so I've, I have now, I've let my little ear dry for a bit. My, uh, my rickrack is all in place. It's all dried and I'm ready to attach it to my little bunny head. You want to take your wires and open them on both sides. You can see where I've already made one ear and attached it. And all I'm going to do is just sit my bunny ear right where I want it. I want it right right up to my first ear that I put on. And you can see I have two wires going forward and two wires going backwards. And y'all, all I'm gonna do, and I put I put my ears on about, about midway. You can see that this is about midway of the ring, okay? And I'm gonna take my wire and just lay it here. And y'all, from the back, all you do is twist it on. That's it. And you're gonna see that it completely dies in. It completely dies in to your little fibers and you can't see it. So how wonderful is that? Don't pull too hard on it. I've pulled a couple of little fibers out. Okay, let's get our other little piece of wire and we're gonna take this and pull it around to the back and wire it just ring it around and that's it and now we have our two little pieces of wire now what are we going to do with this what i do is i'm going to cut these down i'm going to cut both of them down okay and i'm going to curl them i'm just going to curl this i'm just going to curl it curl it i'm just going to curl them down Make a nice tight curl. And you see how I'm gonna open my fibers here? I'm just gonna open my fibers and I'm gonna, I'm making sure that the end where I can feel it, I can, I can feel where I've got the end piece and I'm gonna stick it right straight down into the fabric, really hard. And then I'm just gonna pull my fabric over it. If you want to, you can put a little drop of hot glue over this just when, if you do the hot glue, if you want to, if you want to put the hot glue, make sure that you open your fibers, put the hot glue, and then let it dry, and then pull your fibers over it so they're completely hidden, okay? Let's open this up. Let's make a little bed. Let's make a little spot for it. Turn those pieces under and curl it because you don't want this to rub on anything, you know, any door that you put this on or any place that you hang your beautiful little bunny. Y'all, wouldn't these little bunnies, y'all, I think you could you make these year round and put them in a, in a, in a nursery. If, you know, if that's your theme, especially for, for a little girl or something, these would be so pretty in a nursery also. You can, you can dress these up. They don't have to look Eastery, but you could just dress these up. And that's it, y'all. And that is how you attach um, your little your little ear. And look at that. There you are. And your little bunny's ears. We're gonna give this a little attitude. He's gonna turn, look like like he's listening, like like what you're saying there. I wanna hear you. <laughs> Y'all, that's it. 
that is how you now attach your little bunny ears. Y'all look at that, you can use your roller, clean up, I'm gonna show y'all that one more time. And just don't, don't be afraid of using this material and thinking that it's too messy. You can see just how easy I cleaned up, nothing to it. It does ravel terribly, but you can see how easy that was to just keep everything cleaned up the whole time. And that's it. Our little bunny head is done. And I hope you'll watch our next video. It's going to be on how to make the bunny feet. And I hope you'll enjoy making the whole bunny. So that's it for this, for this video. Please go to probothehand.com. All of this is free, and I sure hope you'll enjoy it. Make lots of bunnies, and bye for now.